Okay, we're going to uh, do a few questions where we determine the magnitude of the indicated side or angle. Now, these questions will all involve triangles that have a 90 degree angle. As such, they will all involve the uh, word SOCATOA. SOCATOA is an acronym and it's useful in these contexts. It tells us that the sine of an angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. That's what SOH stands for. It tells us that the cosine of an angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. That's what CAH stands for. And it tells us that the tan of an angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. That's what that part of the acronym stands for. Uh, this is only true in cases where there is a 90 degree angle in the relevant triangle. It's also important in each one of these cases to first identify the hypotenuse. So what we're going to do is uh, take a look at this first question. We would like to know what C equals and we know that it's uh, part of this triangle right here. First thing we want to do is label the hypotenuse. Since this is the right angle this must be the hypotenuse directly across. Well that tells us that the 37 degree angle uh, which is here has this as its opposite because it's directly across and that leaves this over as the adjacent. Okay, well the relevant angle here is the 37 degree angle uh, for once we realize that we have a 90 degree angle we then don't really consider it in this next part of the analysis we ask ourselves what other angle do we know we know the magnitude of this one 37 degrees and so we ask ourselves the two relevant sides are this known angle uh, or sorry this known side of 15 centimeters and this uh, side that we want to know which is the hypotenuse and so we see that the adjacent is really kind of irrelevant to this question. So we're dealing with an angle of 37 degrees and the opposite and the hypotenuse. Well, which of those three um, trig ratios will apply in this case? We ask ourselves which of these three trig ratios involves the opposite and the hypotenuse? We see clearly it must be sine. So we're going to use the sine trig ratio in this case. We're going to say that the sine of 37 must be equal to 15 over C because the sine of an angle is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So the sine of 37 equals 15 over C. We then want to know what the sine of 37 equals. Well, that's approximately 0 0.6018. That's going to equal 15 over C. We make sure our calculator is in degree mode. We can then say that 0 0.6018C equals approximately 15. We're using a little procedure here called cross multiplication. When we have 0 0.6018, um, we can state it as a fraction over 1. And then since we have one fraction equaling another fraction and um, one of the numerators or denominators contains the uh, variable that we're looking for, this is a case for cross multiplication. When we solve for an angular side using Sakatoa, we're going to do this probably every time. So 0 0.6018 times C equals 1 times 15 like that. So we can write 0 0.6018 times C is approximately equal to 15. I put the approximately there simply because the sine of 37 isn't exactly 0 0.6018. From there we can divide each side by 0 0.6018 and we get that our des desired sought after side is 24.9 centimeters approximately. All of these approximately symbols emanate from the fact that this sine 37 is only approximately 0.6018. Okay, well we get to our next question. We would like to know what is the length of the side E? Well, we realize, uh, we start by finding out what is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is right here. It's always across from the 90 degree angle. 
Then we find the relevant angle, which is 61 degrees, and we ask ourselves, uh, what is this angle, sorry, what is this side and this side in relation? Well, this side must be the adjacent, because it's right next to the 67, or sorry, the 61, and this side must be opposite. Well, we then look at the 61 and realize we don't really care about the opposite in this case, it's irrelevant. We know the adjacent and we're looking for the hypotenuse. Well, which trig ratio uses adjacent and hypotenuse? We look back to Sakatoa and we realize that one does, CAH. The cosine of an angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we come back to our uh, diagram and we can say that the cosine of 61 is equal to 7 over E. So that means uh, since the cosine of 61 is approximately 0.4848, we can say 0.4848 is approximately 7 over E. We can then do our cross multiplying step again. So we can say that E times 0.4848 is approximately 7. We can then divide each side by 0.4848 and we get that E is approximately equal to 14.4 centimeters. Okay. We then move to our next question. In our next question, we're looking for the magnitude of an angle. So our first step is to um, figure out which side is the hypotenuse. So always find the hypotenuse first. So that side's the hypotenuse. And this is the relevant angle because it's the one we're looking for. So with respect to it, this side is the opposite and this side is the adjacent because we're considering things with respect to this angle right here. Well, now we have a situation where the relevant sides are opposite and hypotenuse. Going back to Sakatoa, we see that that means that sine will be the relevant trig ratio. Sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So we can say that the sine of G, I'm going to call this angle G because that's how it was labeled in the question, is going to equal opposite over hypotenuse, 6 over 14. 6 over 14 is approximately 0.4286. Since I know that the sine of G is approximately 4. 0.4286. I can say that G is approximately the sine inverse of 0.4286. Well, the sine inverse of 0.4286 is approximately 25.4, and I've answered my question. The next question in this context is this one right here. We have um, a triangle with a right angle. We're going to first label the hypotenuse right there. We're then going to realize that this is the relevant angle. It's the one we're looking for. So we can say that this is the opposite and this is the adjacent. We realize that in this case the hypotenuse is irrelevant to us because we're going to consider the opposite and the adjacent. Well which trig ratio involves opposite and adjacent? We go back to our magic word of Sakatoa and we realize that tan is the one to use in this context because tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. So we can say that the tan of z is going to equal 13 over 9. 13 over 9 is approximately 1.4444. That means z will be approximately the tan inverse of 1.4444 which means that is approximately 55.3 degrees.